I'm so glad you're here. I, I'm glad to be here, too. Glad to be here with you. And I'm really glad to be here with Cindy because she's not alone, right? The fears that she expressed are very similar to what many people express when it comes to making healthcare decisions. So I really want to commend you for coming here and your willingness to kind of face those fears in front of us all. You've also given us a lot of information that aligns with three areas that do shape people's fears about following through on their medical conditions. Okay. So the first one is having a loved one suffer or die from a serious medical condition. And you have so much of that going on. Your father, your brother, watching your mother go through the heart disease that she suffered through. All of these things make a lasting impression and then shape the way you think about how this might happen to you. The second thing is having your own health scares. So having your own experience or brush with a serious medical condition. You've told us about several emergency things that you've dealt with and this precancerous lesion that required some intervention, some work. And then last but absolutely not least is the idea that you have symptoms that you think could be related to a serious medical condition or risk factors that you haven't addressed yet. You told us about some things that you haven't really taken care of. Smoking that puts you at risk for heart disease that you haven't really addressed yet. And then some other checkups and some other follow-ups that you just haven't done yet. Like a mammogram, for example. Mm -hmm. Yes. Uh, how long since you've had a mammogram? I've never had one. Never? Never. Never had one? No. Okay. Well, this is about changing people's lives, right? I'm not letting you off the hook that easy here. Um, I have made arrangements right now today for you to take your first mammogram test that you've ever had, okay? But not right here. Right here, right here. <clears throat> Thank you for that, at least. Yeah. See, well, I thought if it sounded really scary, then actual experience wouldn't be so scary. We have a mobile mammogram from Inner Images set up backstage for you. Okay. And there's no need to schedule for the test. You don't have to drive to the doctor's office. Oh, great. No chance for any more excuses. Yeah, Ran out of is. time. Dang it. Um, it. I've set this up for you because I want to break this pattern right now. Will you do it? Yes. You'll take it. All right. <laughs> Uh, Jamie is standing by to take you backstage right now. Right now. Right now. Right You're going to walk off here because the first thing to do it is face your demons, right? Yeah. All right, this is stand up. This is Jamie. As you walk off, we'll be doing some other stuff. Okay. Jamie, there you go. Dr. Frieder Lewis Hall, Chief Medical Officer of Pfizer, is here with me to talk about reasons that we avoid medical checkups and tests and how we can get past that there are a whole long list of reasons that people give for not seeking medical attention or following through on medical conditions. It can be everything from my schedule's too busy, I'm committed and prioritize my family or my work. It can be financial or insurance concerns. And of course, Cindy just introduced us to the important, uh, another important one, which is the fear factor, just plain fear. Right. And the important thing to remember is that no matter what the reason, it is absolutely critical to not delay your medical care. What we suggest is that people take stock of their health. What is really going on? What is your family history? What is your medical history? What are your symptoms? What are your risk factors? Take all that stuff and put it in front of you, whether it fits in a thimble or a wheelbarrow, and take a look at it and you and say, what is it that's really causing me to put off taking care of my health? Uh, you know what's interesting? about Cindy's story is that it shows how we're hardwired into this fight or flight response uh, to threats, and that hardwired response can actually turn against us. With all the information that Cindy has about her health care, <laughs> she should be standing ready to fight. Yeah. Instead, she's ready to flee, and that's what she's been doing. And she's not alone. She's not alone. This is a very common situation. Sure. And fear is actually a sign that you should be on high alert. Look, if, if you act on your fear and take charge, that's the best possible thing for you. Because the one thing that leads to a better outcome for almost any health condition, as I told her, is early detection. Early detection is your friend. Um, in almost every case, with cancer, with heart disease, with diabetes, we can go on and on. 
with illnesses, the best chance for a good outcome with a fight is that you have an early diagnosis. And a lot of people, and we've, we've learned this, say, well, I was thinking maybe it would go away. Well, it doesn't go away. And in many cases, it gets worse. And that complicates matters so significantly, you lose a lot of options. So no matter what, that should be one of your main reasons to stop the excuses, to stop the delays, and to take charge, and to move forward on your health. These are really important things that people have to deal with. And we suggest that there's lots of information that you get. If you want more information on how to prioritize your health or on important health um, topics, you can go to gethealthystayhealthy.com. Right. I, and that's, that's good advice. And it's so easy to get busy and make excuses. I've done it. I mean, I do. I get busy and I'm stamping out disease and suffering here. And I feel like I put myself sometimes way down the list. So It's so easy and noble to put other people first. Yeah. But um, <clears throat> what's going to happen to them if you're not there? Yeah, no question about it. Say the website again so everybody knows. Gethealthystayhealthy.com.